The monkey stands in front of his mirror, flexing, chest proud, tail high, banana small. But lately, something feels off. The banana looks smaller physically and energetically. Monkey's roar is quieter. His swing is slower. Even his confidence drooped like an overripe fruit. What happened to me? Monkey wonders. Me still eat bananas? Me still train? Me still grunt? But inside, something is stealing Monkey's jungle power. This isn't a mystery. It's a hormone battle. The ancient war between testosterone, Monkey's power juice, and cortisol, Monkey's stress juice. Today, Monkey learns how stress literally shrinks his banana energy and how to get it back. Back in the wild, stress helped Monkey survive. A snake appears. Cortisol rises. Monkey sprints up a tree. When the danger passes, cortisol drops. And testosterone comes back. Balance. But modern Monkey, he's not fighting snakes. He's fighting traffic, deadlines, notifications, and existential banana problems. His body doesn't know the difference. So cortisol stays on all day like a broken jungle alarm. High cortisol means monkey's body thinks he's always in danger. And when the brain senses danger, it says, forget growth, forget muscles, forget romance. We, we just need to survive. That's why monkey's power fades. Cortisol blocks the effects of testosterone, making monkey feel tired, grumpy, and less confident. Testosterone is monkey's internal thunder. It builds muscle, sharpens focus, boosts courage, and gives monkey that king of the jungle aura. But testosterone is delicate. It doesn't thrive in chaos. It needs calm, rest, and healthy challenge not constant stress signals. Think of testosterone like a proud alpha gorilla meditating on a rock. If cortisol storms and screaming, we're dying, every five minutes, that gorilla packs up and leaves. When cortisol rises too often, testosterone production drops. And when testosterone drops, everything from motivation to muscle recovery to, well, banana vitality, goes down too. Monkey's not weak. He's hormonally sabotaged. So here's what happens when stress wins. Cortisol spikes. Blood flow diverts to survival organs. Monkey's body literally cuts power to non-essential systems. That means less energy for muscle growth, digestion, creativity, and yes, banana function. It's biology's way of saying, now's not the time for romance. There's a tiger chasing us. The tiger's long gone. But Monkey's brain still thinks it's there. Every argument, every notification, every doom scroll keeps that alarm ringing. The result? Monkey feels drained, anxious, foggy. And his once mighty banana confidence turns into a shy plantain. Monkey tries to fix it the wrong way. He drinks jungle coffee, trains harder, scrolls more. But that just fuels the cortisol furnace. His body's stress system never cools off. He wakes up tired, sleeps late, gets cravings for sugar, and loses motivation. Meanwhile, his testosterone, the juice that made him bold, is begging for peace and bananas. Monkey doesn't need more hustle. He needs balance. Because the real jungle alpha isn't the loudest or busiest. It's the calmest one with steady energy and quiet power. Monkey decides to flip the script and start a cortisol detox. Step one, sleep like a jungle king. Cortisol drops and testosterone rebuilds during deep sleep. No phone, no glowing vines, just darkness and dreams. Step two, breathe like a monk not a maniac. Deep breathing activates monkey's calm system, lowers stress, raises oxygen, and signals the brain that the tiger's gone. Step three, eat real food, not sugar dust. 
Protein, fats, and minerals, especially zinc and magnesium, are the raw materials of testosterone. Junk food, banana poison. Step four, lift heavy stuff, but chill after. Short bursts of training boost testosterone. Overtraining destroys it. Monkey learns the difference between challenge and chronic stress. Step five, laugh, nap, and touch grass. Nature resets monkey's nervous system. The sunlight tells his body, you're safe, now build again. Within weeks, monkey's energy roars back. His focus sharpens. His banana confidence returns, proud and radiant under the sun. So let's break this jungle chemistry down one last time. Nice and simple. When monkey's body senses danger, whether it's a real tiger, a bad comment online, or a boss yelling through email, his brain hits the big red button. Cortisol release. It's the ancient survival alarm. Cortisol shoots through monkey's veins, telling his body, stop growing, stop chilling, we might die. That worked great in the old jungle days, when danger lasted ten minutes. Monkey escaped the tiger, climbed a tree, and the stress faded. But modern monkey never turns it off. He's fighting invisible tigers all day. Traffic bills, deadlines, and glowing banana screens full of chaos. Now here's the problem. When cortisol stays high, testosterone drops low. The two are like seesaws. When one rises, the other sinks. Cortisol tells the body to conserve energy for emergencies, while testosterone tells it to spend energy building muscles, confidence, and drive. But you can't build while your brain thinks it's running from danger. Science shows that long-term stress lowers testosterone production by signaling the brain to shut down the growth factory. The hypothalamus and pituitary, the jungle generals, stop sending the make testosterone message to the troops. Meanwhile, high cortisol damages sleep, increases fat storage, weakens immune defense, and slows muscle recovery. Monkey thinks he's tired because he's lazy, but really, he's fighting chemistry. His cells are on emergency mode 24-7. When monkey finally calms his jungle storm, everything flips, cortisol drops, testosterone rebuilds. Dopamine fires properly again. The body returns to growth mode. Muscles recover faster. Brain fog clears. Confidence rises. Even his posture straightens like a proud silverback under sunrise. That's the secret of the jungle balance. Cortisol keeps monkey alive. Testosterone helps monkey thrive. Too much of either, and he loses his edge. But in harmony, monkey becomes unstoppable. The calm monkey isn't weak. He's efficient, focused, ready. He doesn't waste energy fighting tigers that don't exist. He saves it for the battles that matter, the climb, the dream, the next big banana. So next time monkey feels small, tired, or drained, he remembers. Maybe it's not the banana's fault. Maybe it's the stressed tiger roaring inside his head. Calm the tiger, rest the brain, breathe the jungle air and the banana grows strong again. Monkey says, like this video, toss him a subscribe. It keeps the bananas big and the jungle peaceful.